This is Jason with Meguiar's Clocks, and today we're going to take a look at the Howard Miller Diana, model 611-082. It is finished in an Embassy Cherry, which is a darker cherry color. Uh, Howard Miller uses it on their kind of distressed or the clocks that they want to look a little bit older. Uh, this is probably a pretty good representation of what it looks like right through here. Now this clock has a uh, kind of a sister model or cousin model called the Arendal, which the case is the same, but the color is a little bit lighter uh, and it doesn't have all the extra frilly work on it and uh, frilly dial. And start here at the top. It's got this nice little crown right here. Now this is removable. Some customers choose to leave that off just for aesthetic reasons. Uh, it has a spun brass dial with this cut glass insert. It has this nice relief work here. Go down here to the weights. Spun brass weights and it has nice wedding band, which is these three collars that are on here. Go down to the pendulum. The pendulum is brass and silver. These rods are brass, then silver, brass, silver, brass. Uh, spun brass disc with the gla cut glass insert in it. Now what really sets this clock apart though is this relief or carving on the front of it here. Uh, really shows nicely. Go down to the base, it's got a little bit more carving relief work down here. Now, just so people know when they choose to order this clock, uh, any of the curved portions on it like this here and these sides and down here is going to be a veneer and they do that because if it's not veneered and it was a solid chunk of wood it would eventually crack. Uh, it just doesn't last when you do that out of solid wood. So just expect that if you get it in that that's going to be a veneered side. No. This clock's got two doors. It's got this lower one. Hinges and kind of opens up and out. So you actually have to hold it open. Otherwise it wants to close. And it's just that way because there's no way to get around that with the shape of the case. You don't really have to get in this lower section. I'm just going to open it so you can see inside here and see the weights a little bit better. And the pendulum a little bit better. Second door on this one lifts up to access the winding arbors to wind the clock once a week and to set the time and make any selections you have. Let's see over here, this is a Westminster chime clock, single chime on off with Westminster. And then over here, you have the night off and the night on. So this one will turn itself off at 10 p.m. and come back on at 7.15 a.m. Uh, it's a Howard Miller, so it uses a Keeninger uh, movement. I'm going to go ahead and make it chime for you here. And the shape of this case really lends itself to the sound. It sounds really good.
All right, one last thing. This is a lighted case. So they provide you with this roller switch here, which has an adhesive back so you can stick it to the back of the clock. And turn the light on. And this one actually has two lights in it. There is one down here in the base of the case to light the pendulum and the weights up. And then there's one up here in front of the dial to illuminate the dial. You probably need to change those bulbs once a year depending on your usage of this light. Right, it's a real nice feature, looks real good at night. And that is the Howard Miller Diana 611-082. Uh, we do free delivery and setup inside of Austin and free delivery anywhere else using a white glove service uh, that will bring the clock into your house, place it where you want and unpack it, and then all you're left to do is hang the pendulum and the weights on it, uh, which we will have a video up soon of how to do that. Any questions, you can find us at mcguiresclocks.com. That's M-C-G-U-I-R-E-S.com. Or you can call at 512-452-4558. Thank you.